Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'd like to give some information about non-hormonal treatment for menopause. This is actually the second video in my menopause series. The first video I published several months ago about hormonal treatment for menopause. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to watch that one as well. I'm going to specifically focus on menopausal hot flashes since those symptoms are the ones that most patients complain to me about. In my practice, I usually talk with women first about using an antidepressant in the SSRI or the SNRI categories. The ones most frequently used are venlafaxine or Effexor, desvenlafaxine or Prestique, paroxetine or Paxil, citalopram or Celexa, or escitalopram or Lexapro. I personally will steer patients away from paroxetine or Paxil, citalopram, Celexa, and venlafaxine Effexor because they can potentially cause weight gain. So that really leaves desvenlafaxine or Prestique and escitalopram or Lexapro as the best options, at least to start with. Although if you're taking tamoxifen to treat breast cancer, be sure to discuss with your doctor since some of these medications cannot be used with tamoxifen. And furthermore, interestingly enough, sertraline or Zoloft and fluoxetine Prozac have not been found to be very effective for menopausal hot flashes. If women don't get good results from this class of medications, another option is gabapentin that's titrated at 300 milligrams three times a day. This medication is typically used for nerve pain, but it has been shown to be helpful when compared to placebo in some trials to treat hot flashes. If a woman really suffers hot flashes at night, a single bedtime dose can be considered as well, which can eliminate the need for taking so many doses and also because it has some sedating effects. And unfortunately, gabapentin is another medication that can potentially cause weight gain. Another common medication in this class is called pregabalin or Lyrica, and it also can be used, but it tends to be more expensive and still has the weight gain issues associated with it. For women that want to stay away from traditional Western medications altogether, phytoestrogen, isoflavones, and soy are usually discussed. Soy is really unique in that it contains isoflavones, which is a specific type of plant estrogen known as phytoestrogens. These compounds are abundant in soybeans and the most powerful soy isoflavones are thought to be genistein and diazden. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right or not. These are thought to be responsible for having estrogen-like effects, thereby relieving menopausal symptoms. The North American Menopause Society has suggested a trial and error approach to prescribing isoflavones for menopausal symptoms with an initial treatment with high dose isoflavones of 50 milligrams a day or higher either through dietary sources or through a supplement for 12 weeks and stopping if there's no response to treatment after 12 weeks. And I think this is a really reasonable approach, but I would probably encourage women to try to increase the amount of dietary soy instead of using a supplement because the wonderful thing about soy is that it's considered a complete protein and contains all nine essential amino acids that the body cannot make and therefore must be obtained from the diet. Here's a good list of some sources of soy from foods and the amounts in each. Remember the goal is to get at least 50 milligrams per day and preferably higher to get the benefits. And lastly, an herbal supplement that I usually discuss with women is black cohosh. Black cohosh is a flowering plant from the buttercup family that grows in the Eastern US and Canada. It comes in the form of capsules and powders and it contains a phytochemical that has a serotonin-like effect which may help your body to regulate temperature and reduce hot flashes. But the studies aren't super convincing about its effectiveness. The dosing is usually 40 to 128 milligrams of extract daily for up to 12 months. Even though the data is not clear that this works, I do think that it's reasonable to try since it has been shown to be safe when taken as directed. I would caution anyone with liver issues to stay away from black cohosh since there has been shown a possible connection between liver problems and the supplement. At the end of the day, I do think there could be a powerful placebo response with any of these medications, herbs, and supplements. I even did a video on the power of the placebo effect and was blown away during my research that up to 50% of people may experience a positive placebo effect when taking medications. 
So if you're experiencing menopausal hot flashes, talk about options with your doctor. There are hormonal and non-hormonal treatments that may help. Thanks for joining me.